Yes, there are literally billions, billions with a B of dollars in unclaimed cash, money that's owed to you that you may not even know existed. Enter ABC's consumer reporter Elizabeth Lee Me in the latest edition of our wildly popular show, Me the Money Series. She sets up shop in the Mall of America to reunite shoppers with money they never knew they had. At the Mall of America, people expect this. After all, this over-the-top shopping center is known for its indoor roller coasters and the adrenaline rush that goes with them. Now we're about to get their hearts pounding in a whole new way. We've teamed up with the Minnesota Department of Commerce to give back free, yes, free money right in the middle of the mall. You guys want to find some money? There's just one problem. You want some money? Are you sure? These skeptical shoppers don't believe us. You guys want to look up unclaimed property and see if you have any money waiting for you? We got thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. But they should. Statistics show one in ten of us has unclaimed money waiting. It comes from things like forgotten apartment security deposits, final paychecks you didn't pick up, and money left to you by loved ones. The states hold it for their citizens. Minnesota Commerce Commissioner Mike Rothman loves giving it back. Check if there's nothing there, fine. But you never know. It could be a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, or it could be tens of thousands of dollars that is your money. There you go. Kathy Weston is one of the doubters. Can we change her mind? Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Woo! Yes, with a nice find, $675 for her extended family. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased for my family. Other shoppers see the hubbub and start to line up at last. Yeah. It's simple. We help them look up their names, and if an amount pops up that's more than a hundred bucks, they move over to our super computer. Jody Grace searched her grandmother's name. The proceeds are sixteen hundred and twenty-five dollars. She's retired, so it would help a lot. Jason Bennett checked his mom's name and found $2,600 in insurance money. Probably yeah. spent it on the grandkids. As the day goes on, the checks get even bigger. Enter the Tish family. Hi there. Maxwell Tish and his sisters, Joanne and Mary Lou. Mm. But then a snag. We'll be right back with you. Okay, well. We send Maxwell, Joanne, and Mary Lou off to try out one of the Mall of America's rides. Great practice for the roller coaster of emotions they're about to experience. Look at this. I've got $65,466.85 for you. How can $65,000 be bittersweet? It was left to them by their parents when they died. Even after all these years, they still, That's right. still taking care of us. Their mom always wanted to go to Italy, but didn't make it. So they plan to use the money to travel there in her honor. The entire extended family approves. The Show Me the Money Mobile strikes again. We gave back more than $87,500 in Minnesota. So the next time you go to the mall, you never know. Maybe instead of spending money, you'll be getting money. For Good Morning America, Elizabeth Leamy, ABC News, Bloomington, Minnesota. Show me the money. Wow, the Tisch family, $65,000. They're going to go now to Italy, or maybe they can buy six coffee makers. I can't talk. I'm, I'm searching. <laughs> Sam's trying to find now. his money now, too. And if you want to find any unclaimed money of your own, check out www.unclaimed.org. And make sure it's .org, as the unclaimed.com website actually charges you money. I look like I might have found something here. I'll tell you about it after the break. Keep it, uh, keep it here on GMA after the break.